Welcome back guys to another round of uh, Shorts Compilations. This is the second episode of our weekly installment. Uh, again, we drop these episodes, these shorts, uh, by itself at around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, sometimes 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, if there's time in my schedule to get two up. And um, other than that, if you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay informed on when these shorts uh, publish as well throughout the week and then also check the description to see any way that you can help support the channel by checking out the referral link down below and um i guess that's it enjoy the weekly installment bye so anyway they fire off the psychic down goes slow bro we're gonna go ahead and farm down the meta cham as much as we can here there's a psychic we let this flame charge go through down goes the meta cham and comes the mad cargo and then this flame charge nearly takes it out yes we got it all right, another battle here. Horny Chew, Great League. Let's see, Love Cup. It's gonna be Soul Rock versus Town Flame. We're gonna go ahead and force a switch. In comes Drudagon. Sylveon's gonna come in to finish off the Drudagon. Obviously, it's gonna be a Charm Down, Farm Down. They can literally do nothing but tickle my Sylveon. And then after that, they figure out what to do. Stall the timer so that they can switch when they need to. In comes Talon Flame. We're gonna go ahead and fire off a Psy Shock here. Do a considerable chunk of damage to the Talon Flame. There we go. And then is it in the red before we can take it out? Yes. It's pretty much one rock throw away once we let Sylveon go down here. So Silver Rock comes in, we farm down Town Flame, and then in comes Crustle. We're gonna go ahead and go for a rock slide here. Rock slide one, they shield it. Yes. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna let him go right down here because we wanted to go for a two no shield win. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in Wormadam and then finish off Crustle. They forfeit, no shields. Another Go Battle League battle. It's going to be Sylveon versus Wigglytuff. It's going to be a Charm Down, Farm Down. All right, so they're going to go ahead and go for their Charm. We're going to go for the Psy Shock. Are they going to shield this? Yes. All right, so there we go. We get burned down. In comes Talonflame, and then Wigglytuff's going to follow up with a play rough. Doesn't take us out, but then next up is going to be Sea King. Oh, hooray. It's Sea King, my favorite. Anyway, uh, we're anticipating Icy Wind. It is, so we switch to Slowbro to start the farming process uh, with Psychic. They go for the drill run, we let it go through. In comes good old Metacham, you know, the staple of Love Cup on almost every team. If you look at my data, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, they're gonna go ahead and go for the Psychic, and then we're gonna follow up with a Flame Charge. And there we go, that's down. Next up is the Sea King. We're gonna go for a Flame Charge here. There we go. And is that going to be enough? Nope, get farm down. All right, now for our next Go Battle League battle. It's going to be Fairy Catcher. Soul Rock leading against Ariados, a Fairy Bowl lead. Oh, it's a shiny. Look at that, sparkle, sparkle. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and shield the lunge because obvious reasons. For whatever reason, I made a dumb move and switched to Sylveon when I should have switched to Wormadam. But you know what? Can't always think smart. Anyway, Sylveon goes down. We're going to bring in Soul Rock. They're going to go for a drill run. I saw that coming, so I shielded it. We burn down the Sea King. In comes Lickitung. We're going to fire off a Psychic. Yes, I should have Rock Slid, but whatever. Anyway, we're going to farm up towards that. And then this. Look at this. Look at that. We caught the Power Whip perfectly. So that's going to be the game changer right there by catching that Power Whip. They go for Body Slam spam now. We over farm here after we do a bunch of Confusion spam. Now we have two Iron Heads charged up. We're going to fire off the first one. Do they shield? Yes. Fire off the second one. Are they going to shield again? You betcha. Now we bring in Soul Rock to finish off. In comes Ariados. We hit it with a Rock Slide, and that's GG. All right. Another Go Battle League battle. It's going to be Alola Mola versus Scrafty. Uh, let's see. We're going to do a little farm down here. Oh, but hey, I kept this to show off the lag that we had to deal, to deal with. So anyway, Scrafty's going to go for a foul play. We shield it, and then after that, we switch to Metacham after farming up towards a Hydro Pump. We don't really fire it off yet. They bring in Clefable, so we're going to go ahead and follow that up with a Psychic. Uh, soaking the Psychic, and then Metacham goes down. We're going to bring in Mag Cargo to tank this Clefable and overfarm just a smidge. At least try to overfarm. We get the Rock Tomb here so that we get the damage mitigation. There we go. Nearly goes down. The Fable's down. Next up, it's going to be Scrappy coming back in. We fire off the Psychic to force a shield. They do shield. They burn their last one to boot as well. So now we just let this foul play go through. Farm down here. In comes Talon Flame. We knew that it was coming, so we're going to fire off our Hydro Pump. And then it connects, and then we farm and win. All right, now for our next Go Battle League battle, it's going to be Soul Rock versus Ariados. There we go. We're going to do the Ariados uh, rock, um, rock Throw spam. 
There's the lunge, and then can we get a farm down? They're gonna do lunge number two. We're gonna protect our soul rock, obviously. Down goes Aridos. We're gonna save our, we're gonna charge up here to two rock slides, switch to Wormadam. And it's gonna be Wormadam versus Wormadam. I have no shields, they have two shields. We go for Iron Head one, they shield it, and then we're gonna go for Bug Buzz afterwards. There's their Bug Buzz. Now we go for ours to get the defense drop. Can we pull it off? Yes, we got the defense drop. And then they're gonna go ahead and go for Iron Head. Boom, connects. Now we're gonna go ahead and follow up with ours. Boom, take out their Wormadam because we got the defense drop. Now we're gonna fire off our two rock slides. Here's the first one. Down goes the Olomola's health. They're gonna be in the yellow after this one, but they choose the shield for whatever reason. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in Sylveon because we wanna preserve our soul rock just in case what's in the back. We go for Hydro Pump and then we win. All right, now another go battle league battle. It's a Lola Molo versus Sylveon. We're gonna go ahead and do a farm down here. Uh, we're kind of even, but I can't re really remember the matchup types. Anyway, Psy Shock's going to connect, and then we're gonna follow it up with a Psychic. We both burn our first shield, and then after that, we do one more Psychic. There we go. They burn both their shields, so we're gonna bring in Mag Cargo to tank Sylveon's charge moves. In comes a Lola Molo, so we're just gonna spam Rock Tomb here. Rock team one, we go down, and then in comes Metacham. We're gonna over farm here. So there goes the Psychic, and then we're gonna go for a power up punch, and just keep racking up the damage, so that that way Metacham's gonna start to commence a sweep. We shield this because we need to. Down goes the Lola Mola, in comes Sylveon, we finish that off, and then they have their Metacham. So we're just gonna go ahead and fire off two Psychics here. Psychic one, they're gonna go for a power up punch, we nearly survive, and then we go for the second Psychic, and then that's gonna be the win. All right, go battle league battle. It's gonna be Crustle leading against a Slow King. Uh, let's see, they're gonna go ahead and go into a Scrafty switch in. So I have Sylveon in the back for this, but then we got hit by a little bit of lag. It's fine, whatever. It's Scrafty versus Sylveon, what can you do? In comes Bad Cargo. That's uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty good switch in response. But now we can over farm here just a little bit. Uh, let's see, they're gonna go for the Rock Tomb. Can we get another Psychic, or Psy Shock? No, we cannot. In comes Crustle. They're gonna go for the Rock Tomb. We have to shield it. We try to farm down. And then after that, in comes the Slow King. We followed up with uh, Double X Scissor. They shield the first one. Are they gonna shield the second one? They should not, but guess what? They did. All right, so now we just let Slow King finish us off here. And then after that, we bring in Cherim, and then we're gonna go for some, some style points here. We can finish off with a Weather Ball Fire, but we charge up to Solar Beam just to get that extra style point for the finish. All right, here's another Jodo Cup battle. We're gonna start off with the Pillow Swine versus Ariados lead. Uh, let's see, Malice Swine's gonna farm up towards a Avalanche, but Ariados goes up for the lunge to get the, the stat drop, so I switch to Skarmory. They bring in a Zoom Roll. Zoom Roll goes for the Ice Beam. I'm gonna follow up with a Brave Bird because they didn't see it. They didn't see it coming. After that, we follow up with a Sky Attack. Is it gonna be enough to take it out? They shield. Is that gonna take us out? No, we're not gonna shield to preserve our Pillow Swine. We bring in Raikou. Raikou finishes off the Ariados, and after that, we're gonna go ahead and shield this lunge for the Ariados. Go for a Shadow Ball. They're gonna shield. Nope. They switch to Umbreon. Umbreon catches. We go for the Wild Charge. And then they're gonna follow it up by switching to Pillow Swine. Pillow Swine catches the foul play. And then after that, we survive. We go for the Avalanche. They shield it. And then we bring in Raikou afterwards. We shield their foul play. And then after that, they bring in Ariados. We go for a Wild Charge. Boom. And then is that enough to take out? We charge up to another Wild Charge. And that's a win. Like, subscribe. Bye. Another Jota Cup battle. Do all the social thingies if you enjoy this content. It's Ariados versus uh, Politoed. Let's see, we fire off our weather ball, they're gonna go ahead and go for the lunge, we're gonna let it go through because we can tank it, but confidently. And then we're, after that, they go for cross poison, we're gonna just stay in and keep spamming weather ball. And then after that, we bring in mag cargo, in comes the cool fish. We were anticipating that, so they go for the aqua tail, nearly knocks out our mag cargo, we go for rock team one. They shield it for whatever reason. After that, Aqua Tail 2 goes in. We're gonna go ahead and bring Politoed back in. They followed up with an Aqua Tail. We barely survive. We go for the Earthquake. Are they gonna shield it? No, down goes Quillfish. In comes Lantern. And after that, they're following it up with Ariados. So we're gonna go ahead and go for the Acrobatics after this. Cross Poison goes through. We over farm here. So after that, there's the Acrobatics. And now we just have the Lantern to deal with. We're gonna fire off an Energy Ball. And it puts them in that halfway mark. And then we try to catch here, but it wasn't enough. Anyway, so we just go ahead and go for the shield and then fire off an energy ball and we win. Welcome to another Jodo Cup battle, everybody. It's Shining Yahweh with Pillow Swine leading against an Umbreon. We're gonna go ahead and just uh, farm up towards an Avalanche while the Umbreon goes for a foul play. All right, 
looking pretty good so far. So they're gonna go ahead and go for another foul play. We let we shield the second one because obvious reasons. And then after that, Pillow Swine's gonna go for Avalanche one. Uh, we're gonna follow it up with Avalanche two. Puts them in the red. Can we actually farm them down the whole way? No, most likely not. But we're gonna go ahead and let uh, Pillow Swine go down. We bring in our shiny Steelix. In comes their Quillfish. We're gonna go ahead and tank the Aqua Tails. We're gonna let two go through. Super effective. Ooh, that's some deep damage. Bring in Raikou to finish off the Quillfish, charge up a little bit. We shield there, I believe, and then after that, in comes the Umbreon. We farm down, but is it enough? Nope, they get the foul play. In comes the, I think, Quillfish? That's happening so fast. Nope, Skarmory. So we're going to fire off two wild charges. <sighs> Boom, that's a uh, win. Welcome to another Jota Cub battle. Let's see, it's going to be Pillowswine leading against a Skarmory. After that, we're going to go ahead and just stay in here. We can outpace them with our avalanches. They're going to go for Sky Attack naturally. But then uh, they don't shield the first avalanche. Woo, look at that damage. They switch afterwards. We bring in Raikou because they brought in a zoom roll. And let's see, they're going to go ahead and go for the player rough. We're going to shield it. Go for a Shadow Ball here because we don't want to take the stat drops yet. There we go. They don't shield it, so down they go. Anyway, we go ahead and go for another Shadow Ball. And there's the Quagsire. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go for a wild charge here because we know they're gonna fire off a charge move right away but instead they shield over farm and then next up in comes the quagsire they go for the stone edge we tank it like a champ and after that we're gonna bring in what's it called uh pill swine there's the skarmory versus skarmory we go for the sky attack we take it out and then the in comes the quagsire then they go for another stone edge we take it like a champ and then after that we fire ours and we win like subscribe and bye